Hi, my name is Bernard Chardon from Port Breakers Golf Academy, and this is the part three of the Tiger series uh, when he won the players this year, 2013, his 78th PGA Tour win. And we're going to look at a few things that Tiger does in putting that's really helping him dominate the tour this year. So the one main thing is what Tiger's feeling in his putting that he's changed as the thought process is he's trying to become left-hand dominant and not right-hand dominant. Uh, previously, before he spoke to Steve Stricker this year, he was more right-hand dominant. He felt like he was putting to a picture and rolling his rolling the ball to the to the picture or to the cup with his right hand. Steve suggested to him to feel a lot more left-hand dominant on his takeaway, using his left shoulder and his left hand to take the club away, and also using his left hand and his left shoulder to bring the club back through impact. And that's the thought process that Tiger has been using, which has been helping him tremendously. Okay, So what we're going to look at here is just a few of the mechanics that Tiger has. What we're going to notice, though, with this shot is once the ball leaves, the camera angle starts to follow the ball. So, so it's, the lines that I have drawn are going to kind of not, not mean too much once the ball leaves the face. But we're going to look at just past impact before the camera starts to move and post, or, you know, well, in other words, post impact, pre impact. So, setup wise, I have a circle around his head and I have a line on his shoulders and a line right at his hands. And what we're going to notice is as he goes back, his shoulders rock back, his left shoulder starts to move the club back. His hands remain directly on that line. So, so that's really a, a great thing because what that does is it keeps everything in place and has him putting more like a machine. His hands are on the same line. They're not moving up or down as, as they move away. Now, as they move back to the ball, you're noticing that they're also staying on that same exact line. The other thing that I want you to notice here is that in this whole time, Tiger's head has never moved out of that circle. It has remained exactly in that circle. It's just rotating just slightly here as he starts to come through. And his hands are still remaining on that line as the ball leaves the face and everything becomes straight on his left side where his left arm actually is dead in line with the putter stroke, uh, with the putter shaft now as the ball leaves the face. And uh, his shoulders are also still still pretty level. Okay, they're still kind of his body has a very very slight rotation, his upper body ever so slight. Okay, um, but his head is staying very very steady. And and the other thing that I want you to notice here is how the putter starts to rise immediately after he strikes the ball. And when the putter rises immediately, as it as long as it rises level to the ground. It's going to be putting a forward spin on that ball, top spin, because the ball is, is going to be caught on the upswing. And it's almost like if you were to take your hand and roll a tire, you would never roll a tire below the equator. You would always hit the top above the equator and roll the tire away from you. And that would keep the, keep the tire rolling on an even plane straight, straight down the line. And that's really what's happening here. He hits that, and then the club comes up, okay, um, and and it comes up even. So so we're noticing too that that's why his hands are remaining pretty much. See how his hands start to come up now, in relationship to that red line. We are seeing right here just where a camera starts to move, okay. So here's where we start to lose integrity um, of of the lines that I've drawn, because right here is where it stops. There's where it starts, okay. So so what are some things that we can learn from? What Tiger is doing? Well, putting, let's become left side dominant. Let's use our left side, our left shoulder to take the club away. And then we're going to use our left shoulder to let the club fall through the impact zone. It's going to be in a rocking motion. So after, that left shoulder is going to start to come up slightly, which is going to allow the putter head to, to come up off the ground, almost like an airplane 
taking off. Both wheels are going to take off at the same time. That's going to put that pure over roll on top of it. We also, it's imperative that we keep our head extremely steady in this point because that's going to make us putt like a machine. Nothing's going to move, okay? So if we keep, if we keep that head steady, sorry about that roll back there. If we keep that head steady, okay, then, then we're going to really have a bottom of the swing arc happen in the exact correct spot and there's not going to be any movement. It's not going to manipulate the face. So it's really important that we keep our head steady, which Tiger is doing excellent. And then, of course, we're going to see that even though he put it out of the fringe here, we're going to get rid of these lines now. And we're going to see the result right in the hole. Okay. So, again, the result right in the hole. So for Par Breakers Golf Academy... My name is Bernard Sheridan. I'd like to thank you, as always, for being with us and sticking with us through this um, three-part series of what, why Tiger is doing so well this year, 2013. We'd like to congratulate Tiger on his wins, and we're hoping for many more because it's great for golf. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And if you'd like to make any comments, you can just... Put that right in the comment box. We'd love to hear what what your thoughts are about our videos and, and other videos that you'd like to see us critique or of tips that you'd like to see us show you. So, as always, thanks so much for subscribing to the channel. If you didn't subscribe yet, don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you next time.